Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to solve a particularly pesky problem that occurs in business. Someone has emailed you a file of data, and they want you to manipulate and produce some reports. Well, the first thing that I do when I get data that I can't verify the source, I check for validity. I want to make sure that I am calculating numbers and not text hiding as a number. So let's use the count function to count the values in my column of data. The expected result is 32. Count will only count those cells that contain numbers and not text. So how do I identify those three values in this column that contain text? I use the isText function. And is text produces false if it finds a number and true if it finds text. So let's copy this down. And there we go. We can spot our three records. Now imagine, that, of course, that this is a larger file. I don't want to go through and change each one of these records individually. I want to do this all in one action. Here's how we do it. Go over and find a blank cell. Any cell, it doesn't matter, and copy it. It's on the clipboard. Now highlight our column of data and choose Edit Paste Special. Within the Paste Special dialog box, go down here into the operation. What we're doing is we're going to be adding a blank value, a zero value, to our column of data. And when we click OK, now, magically, all of our numbers have converted into real numbers. There are no more text. The text has been converted into numbers. I'm expecting 32, and I have 32. As you can see, had I not caught that text cell as a value in those three instances, I would have had a variance. I would have been off by nearly $60,000. So learn how to verify your data first before producing a result. You want verifiable results. And that's our tip for today. See you in the next Tips and Time Savers.